In the case of the following stunning pieces of ring gear, the stories behind why they became a thing in the first place are often just as fascinating as the designs themselves. So let's dive into a world of spectacular colour, slick style and iconic choices and explain exactly what went into the creation of the following beautiful wrestling outfits. I'm Gareth here from What Culture Wrestling and here are the 10 most beautiful wrestling attire choices explained. Number 10. Becky Lynch channels Kill Bill on her biggest night. Walking into WrestleMania 35, Becky Lynch was without doubt the biggest badass strutting around in WWE. And before marching into MetLife Stadium to make history alongside Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair in the first ever all women's mania main event, the man had looked every bit the tough as nails anti-hero in her typical denim shorts and leather jacket ensemble. However, at the show of shows, Lynch decided it was time for a change. Drawing inspiration from Kill Bill's The Bride, the eventual Becky Two Belt would tell comicbook.com that she opted for a slick and unquestionably cool reverse bride look that night because she related to Uma Thurman's character. Like the bride who kept a list of all those who had wronged her, Lynch also hadn't forgot about the folks who turned their backs on her, even claiming I still have a vendetta against you. And while she didn't go as far as to pull out a katana in her bid to walk out of WrestleMania with two pieces of gold, she definitely looked just as awesome as Thurman when taking out multiple enemies dressed in black and yellow. Number 9. Cody Rhodes' various beautiful ring jackets were inspired by the military. SummerSlam 2023 saw the American Nightmare walk into battle against the Beast Incarnate, sporting that undeniably gorgeous jacket with a damn half cape. But this isn't the first time Cody Rhodes has worn a beautiful extra special coat on top of his unmistakable gold, red, white and blue wrestling tights and boots though. With WrestleMania 39 also seeing the undisputed WWE Universal Championship challenger soaring down to the squared circle with a pair of stunning wings on his back. It was quite simply majestic. And those coats were actually largely inspired by military dress uniforms, with Cody noting in an interview with AJ Awesome that the pageantry is really special, and how these old outfits have been utilised to help create many of the various awesome American Nightmare outfits the huge American history buff has been seen in over the last few years. So now you know. Number 8. Rhea Ripley is inspired by Vegeta at WrestleMania 36. During what was her show of shows debut, then NXT Women's Champion Rhea Ripley decided to unleash a gear that was simultaneously ravishing and menacing at WrestleMania 36, and one that she'd actually worn a similar version of five years earlier when wrestling for Riot City Wrestling in Australia. The eventual Judgment Day ass kicker opted to go for this white and blue costume as a nod to one of her favourite Dragon Ball Z characters, with the Australian sensation growing up absolutely loving the series. Feeling that Vegeta in particular was such a badass, Ripley wanted to unlock that feeling in herself during the biggest fight of her career career against Charlotte Flair. This isn't the first time a WWE star has looked to the world of the iconic Japanese anime for inspiration on the grandest stage though. The New Day similarly went full Dragon Ball at WrestleMania 32, with the legendary tag team looking just as awesome in their armour as Ripley did when she decided to briefly drop her typical black attire at the 2020 Mania. Number 7. The Young Bucks go full Dior to really hammer home the heel turn. AEW's Young Bucks have always found a way to stand out from the rest, either through their work world-class ability and creativity in between the ropes, or simply by wearing some of the most eye-catching gear in the business. However, after bringing everything from a gorgeous Lakers-inspired get-up to an outstanding Elvis tribute outfit to the company they helped create, Matt and Nick Jackson decided to change things up a little after finally turning their backs on the All Elite Faithful in 2021. Gone were the fun tassels and humble attitudes. Instead, these two a-holes were the sort of blokes who now opted to wrestle an entire match in a pair of expensive D your Air Jordans, all whilst making you want to slap those stupid grins off their smug faces. They wanted to rub just how much dollar they were raking in as EVPs in your poor heartbroken face, and did it by besting Pac and Ray Phoenix while showing off a beautiful white and grey outfit that looked like it cost more than what you got paid in a year. Cheers for that, Bucks. Number 6. Everything Roman Reigns touches turns to gold. While not quite as flashy as some of the other entries on this list, that still doesn't change the fact that Roman Reigns' decision to drop the vest and debut his shredded torso turned the heads of the entire wrestling world back at Clash of Champions 2020. But not content with that initial change up though, the tribal chief opted to adjust his gauntlet a few months on at Hell in a Cell too. And what came next was another magnificent addition to the head of the table's already vastly improved presentation. The Golden Glove didn't just make Roman look like WWE's very own Samoan Thanos, getting ready to gather as many titles as he could in order to establish the bloodline as the most dominant force 
force in the industry. He'd also represented Rain's mindset of everything he touches turning to gold. As the star himself noted to Bleacher Report in 2021, the longtime undisputed WWE Universal Champion would also explain that the underlying theme of what we're trying to do is display power at its maximum in every regard. Well, they certainly achieved that. Not only did this tribal chief look like a million bucks in his simple yet effective golden glove and tactical trousers combo, he also looked like a powerful heavyweight champ capable of effortlessly snapping you like a damn twig. Number 5. The New Day Go Paint By Numbers A few years on from that epic Dragon Ball Z appearance from within a box of bootios, as you do, the New Day lads debuted an even more fascinating and rather gorgeous look at Elimination Chamber 2020. Seeing the likes of Kofi Kingston and Big E dressed in stunning all white was already as beautiful as it sounds at a glance. But on closer inspection, the multiple time tag team champions gear was far more than a simple one colour get up. With each New Day member having a collection of colours with numbers assigned to them on their asses or lower backs, this pain by numbers attire was actually designed to be gradually coloured in over the coming weeks slash months. According to the outfit's brilliant designer Jonathan Davenport, these incredibly creative costumes were actually set to be worn at Survivor Series a few months earlier. But the initial blank tights and singlets, an increasingly colourful 2020 update, were certainly worth the wait. And guess what? Kofi ended up wearing this coloured in delight at the crowdless WrestleMania 36 too. These magnificent gears deserved an audience, damn it. Number 4. Rey Mysterio becomes the Phantom so Eddie can't rip his mask off early. The legendary Rey Mysterio is constantly finding exciting ways to upgrade and adapt his unmistakable attire. It's perhaps Rey Rey's superhero tributes that have caught the eye the most though. With the WWE Hall of Famer donning everything from an awesome Spider-Man inspired gear to an all-in Wolverine costume over the last few decades. But when it comes to those super suits, easily the most memorable and captivating was worn during Mysterio's famous battle against longtime pal slash rival Eddie Guerrero at Halloween Havoc 1997. Here, the high-flying luchador opted to not go for his typical tights and mask combo when fighting Latino Heat in a mask versus WCW Cruiserweight title match. Instead, Ray decided to wear a bright purple suit, similar to the one worn by Billy Zane during the forgettable 1996 The Phantom superhero flick, perhaps as a way of keeping the devious Guerrero from ripping off his precious mask early. Not even his mask being connected to the rest of his splendid outfit could stop this merciless future WWE champion from splitting it open in the middle of their classic contest, however. But the resilient Mysterio was still able to win the day and keep his mask after originally being but to lose the thing, all while looking damn good doing it in the end. Number 3. CM Punk dons the pink and yellow, yeah! Over the years, beautiful in-ring attire tributes to the stars of the past have become more and more common on wrestling TV. Maybe the most glorious example of a top talent perfectly paying their respects to an icon, while simultaneously making themselves look pretty damn magnificent in the process, came back in 2011 though, when a certain punker decided to pay tribute to the legendary Macho Man. With Randy Savage suddenly passing away due to a heart attack on May 20th of that year, CM Punk decided to seamlessly combine his own kick pad and trunk look with the Macho Man's iconic WrestleMania 3 pink and yellow attire a few days later during a Raw tag match, and easily one of the greatest one-off tribute gears of all time was born. The eventual AEW man would also noticeably tip his cap to the likes of Bret Hart and Sting with his attire choices over the years, but Macho Punk is still the most beautiful and respectful choice of attire this eternal rebel has ever sported in between the squared circle. Let's just not talk about the elbow drop. Number 2. Bret Hart shows his own version of solidarity in a singlet This hitman already possessed one of the coolest, most striking and memorable attires ever to grace a wrestling ring. But that just wasn't enough for Bret Hart. In his attempts to show solidarity with his brothers, the former WWE Champion only went and donned a fantastic bright pink singlet instead of his usual already stunning tights and vest. When the family took on Shawn Michaels and his knights at Survivor Series 1993, with the rest of the Hart clan all wearing a black singlet with a pink trim though, Hart's call to make sure he stood out from the rest of his family by not sticking to the colour scheme suddenly planted the seed for an epic turn to come. After inadvertently colliding with Brett and subsequently getting eliminated in the match, Owen Hart ultimately began to grow increasingly more frustrated with his hitman brother. With those feelings of being held back by the eventual 1993 Superstar of the Year, eventually leading to him snapping and turning on Brett at the Royal Rumble. So not only was that wonderful singlet one of the finest pieces of one-off attire ever to pop up in the Hitman's beautiful collection, it also definitely helped kick off one of the greatest feuds in WWE history. Number 1. Seth Rollins finally goes all white again. 
again. Back in 2015, the current World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins debuted one of the most marvellous pieces of attire of the era, finally dropping his largely black gear in favour of a pristine or white alternative as he went to war with John Cena at SummerSlam. And while a then WWE Champion Seth would once again go all white on the Night of Champions at the next PLE, said beautiful looks suddenly disappeared shortly after. The reason? Well, Vince McMahon is an out of touch weird old man. You knew that already, of course, but it was the boss who put the kibosh on Rollins' days of being a heelish white knight on WWE programming, with the visionary eventually explaining in 2019 how the chairman simply didn't get it and won't let him wear it. However, Rollins evidently got the last laugh slash cackle in the end. Joining Rhea Ripley's stunning Vegeta tributes and the New Day's pain by numbers outfit during a rather superbly clothed WrestleMania 36, the one time Shield star turned up for his fight with Kevin Owens, dressed once again in a magical white number. This time, the gold-trimmed vest was replaced with an angelic religious leader robe during his arrival as the Sunday Night Messiah, but the end results were still as epic as they were five years earlier. And who knows, maybe the now most outrageously dressed man in the business will treat fans to one more dazzling all-white ensemble on a special WrestleMania-sized occasion in the coming months. Come on, Seth, we know you wanna. And that's our list, nor of any other incredibly beautiful wrestling attire choices that I've missed? Well, let me know all about them in the comments section right down below, and don't forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button while you're down there. Also, if you like this sort of stuff, then head on over to whatculture.com and find some more fantastic articles just like the one this video you're watching right now is based on. I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Cheers for watching this video today, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.